Hey guys, Matt, Matt's Tree Service. I'm going to do a little video of some modifications I did to my bollard uh, friction brake. It's a ratcheting style friction brake. And the uh, first thing I did with this thing is I welded this hook on. And what I do with that is I just throw a small ratchet strap on a tree, which I will show later, and then hang it. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh, there's a big strap that holds this thing in place, but if you're trying to do this by yourself, that's about impossible. The uh, second thing I'm going to show you basically is what I did here. This thing ratchets, which is kind of hard to show you with it not hooked to something. But it'll turn one way but not the other. And from the factory, it doesn't have a reverse on it. What happens if you... Uh, you tie onto a branch and you start ratcheting it up, you know, say you want to lift up a branch and you got to go quite a ways, you're, you'll run your rope around the drum. Uh, if you get too far, you'll start running the rope on top of itself and then you can't release the load. Uh, there's no reverse on this, so the rope won't slide. So what I did was I uh, took and drilled a hole right here uh, and I welded this little piece of pipe onto the side of this thing which just holds a little screwdriver, I can get in here and release that that lever in there. Let's see if I can kinda of hard to do this holding the camera. But that way I can reverse that thing. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna show you here. The the uh oops. The ratchet on this thing, although I haven't had it apart, I'm assuming it's pretty similar to this thing here, it's, other than it's got a spring-loaded lever. So what you're really doing with that screwdriver is sticking it in and releasing that lever like this. It only ends here, but like I said, it's a spring-loaded deal, so it always holds it in place. Okay, one thing I need to tell you. This uh, quarter-inch hole which you make that hole of whatever size you need to for whatever screwdriver you can find that fits, I guess. But it's an inch and a half down from the top, and it's an inch and three eighths from this side. Uh, I would have measured it from here, but they bit a weld here, so depending on how thick they make that weld, it could change the change the distance. So the next section of this video is going to be actually showing it getting strapped to a tree. Okay, this, I'm Matt with Matt's Tree Service. I'm going to show you a couple modifications I did to my bollard friction brake. A couple mods I did to make it a little bit easier to get it on a tree by yourself, and also so it uh, so you can reverse it the way it's designed. You uh, can can winch a rope up, but if you get the rope wrapped up on itself, there's no way to release it. First thing I'm going to do is put this small ratchet strap on the tree. I'll give myself something to hang this winch onto. That come with this little hook. I welded that in place. But it's quite heavy, so if you're trying to hook this on a tree by yourself, it's pretty difficult. Just hang that thing right on there like that. Now the next step, put the strap on.
weld this weld this little pipe on there for a screwdriver. I'll show you that in a little bit. And this is not the bar that comes with this, but it's in my other trucks. For this purpose, I don't need it too tight. on this friction brake. And it's ratcheting for any put a bar in here and you can crank up some pretty good pressure on this. This actually has a four thousand pound working load. But there is no reverse on it. I drilled a small quarter inch hole on this side so I can get a screwdriver in there so I can release it so I can back that off. happens is if you're winching a rope up and you get it wrapped up so far that the rope gets on top of each other then it won't uh, back up. And throw my screwdriver back in there and put the cap on it keep the moisture out of this. That's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for watching.